Hey everyone, this is Grace at GB Maltese and I thought I would do a little kit up video with you guys showing you my new funnel that I use for my Elizabeth Ward kit. And those are my favorite kits. I've used them for years and I've tried different others and they're always I always come back to these. They're my very favorite. In your Elizabeth Ward kit, I get the 45 piece <clears throat> which gives you 42 containers and they come in different sizes like this and how I decide which container I'm going to use is by looking at my package how many drills do I think might go in here or here it, it, it's not an exact science but I got my funnel from Bella Art De Nicole I love this thing. It's awesome. Oh, another thing I purchased from them was this pin, diamond pen holder. You can put anything in it. And I just have a very few of my diamond painting pens in there. I own um, a lot. <laughs> I could show my collection one day. But isn't that beautiful? So, I'm going to put that out of the way since I'm not diamond painting right now. And I'm going to use the funnel. The kit that I'm going to be kitting up is this one. This is What Hides in the Dark, Part 3. And it's licensed from Jorge Arbina. And it is from Bella Art Diamonds. I love their, I love their diamond paintings. They're wonderful to work on. All right. So, now, to get started, because some people like to watch kit, kit ups. I'm not going to show the whole kitting up of this kit, because there are actually 76 colors, and I don't think you want to sit through the whole process, but I want to show you some, I want to show you how great this funnel works, if you do have an Elizabeth Ward kit. They also make funnels, if you just want to put them in. Now these, you can use them out of these bags, but if you get something from another company that doesn't come back this way, they do have a funnel where you can put them in bags your own if you like to work from bags. I prefer the Elizabeth Ward kit when it's this many diamonds to be worked with. Okay, thing I love about this, they've got the number on the bag, so I know this is number one, and I'm just going to go ahead and go with the second size. What I do is I come over here and I get number one. And I put it on my Elizabeth Ward container. Then all you have to do, and, and these do come all the way off, especially when you get rough with it like I was doing, and you stick it in here nice and secure. Then you're just going to pour these in here. It's very nice. Now, as you can see, there is static here. I used to always put dryer sheets or pour it out on a dryer sheet. And I thought, I wonder if I kind of blew into it gently if it would work. And it did. You know how you get cup your hands when you're cold and you go into your hands to warm it up. That's what I do on these bags. I put this up to my mouth and just very gently don't do it. And don't, you don't want to blow it. Just a little, it'll get just a little bit of moisture. And that, you may have to do it more than one time. And it seems to be worse in the winter time when these things happen. Okay, I blew some more in there. And then you can always dump um, a dryer sheet in there and, and shake it around. But this has worked out fine for me. And I'm just going to put that on in there. You want to blow in it some more. The only thing, the thing that I always think about is, Grace, make sure you don't <gasps> suck in. <laughs> 
that could you know lead into some very <laughs> severe problems like sucking too many diamond paintings down into your throat or in your mouth or whatever and nobody wants that okay so there we go I didn't do as good a job with it as I normally do because nothing ever comes out when you when you pull the camera out it's like okay <laughs> let's misbehave and as you can see they are now in my container. Oops, I dropped a couple. And just put them in there like that. And then this is what I do. I get my tray and I'll put number one up here at the top. Then I'll put two, three, four. So it could be all different sizes going up and down here. That's how I do my kitting up. Okay, let me pull out number two. This has a bit of um, static in it. I've had the kit here probably at least a month sitting in a cool area. So yeah, you get a lot more static. This one's not very many, so I'm going to use my smallest container. And look, this fits the smallest container just like that. Very easy. So I'm going to open this up. And I'm going to just blow gently into the bag. Like, not, but. There. As you can see, they come out nicely. That's just a and if you kind of miss the mark, just kind of scoop it up like that. And I'm going to come to the edge of my table and just swipe it down into the funnel, and it's ready. I always lick my finger when I pick them up and then I haven't put the number on there so let's do that right now number two and on these uh, Elizabeth Ward trays they're small ones I put them over here to the side to get it to stick more easily And sometimes these things, these suckers are harder to open than others. Okay. So let's go to number three. I always keep a little garbage can next to me so I can throw things away. Number three, as you can see, not many in there. So I'm going to go for my smaller container and stick that in there. Oh, you know what? I missed a few right here and that's one thing great about these is they're you're, you're going to be able to see them and you just dump them off in there I can tell you one thing this always goes much faster when I'm not trying to get this on video not sure if you can hear me <laughs> sounds like a Hey, movie, I'm breathing into a phone or something. <sighs> no. But it works for me. And other times, I just cut up small pieces of dryer sheet, put it in there, shake it around, and that works also. So, whatever makes you happy, because you're going to get kits that are going to have static. That's just the way plastic works, especially when you got plastic bags and... Um, these are resin drills, but resin is a type of plastic, so yeah, that's what you get. Oh, in there. Okay, then you just scoop it on in, and see, just pull it out, close it. 
I keep forgetting to put my little number on there. So we got number three. And the bag is here to remind me in case I'm like, dummy, what number did you just do? And it was number three. And I just put it on there and place it on my tray. So as you can see, I have got different sizes in there already. That's the reason I take all of the pieces out. Okay, let's look at number four. Okay, this again is another that doesn't have very many in there. So I'm going to go with the smaller one. Definitely. So let's see if we can get that open. And I'm going to go ahead and put my label on there since I just remembered. And it's okay when you, you can put them on whenever you feel like it. This is the reason I don't put them on ahead of time. Because I don't know how many I have of that color. Stick that little baby in there. It goes up here in the top. A little. Yeah. Warm them little suckers up a little bit. They need a little bit of warmth and moisture. I've been doing that now for quite some time. I was talking with a friend on the phone and I was telling her about that. And I, <laughs> I'm sure she thought I was a weirdo blowing into the phone. <laughs> I'm just like, <sighs> but it's, it works. It works. Okay. Number five, another very small bag. So another little tray. Now, when I run out of these, I'll just go up to the next size. It doesn't matter. The end of the world is not going to happen if there's just a few in there. And the tray and the containers are not as big. Because you've got all different colors in of the rainbow in there. As I said, I have 76 colors, so there's a bunch. So let's blow into this one gently. I hope that's picking up. You can hear I'm not just, I'm not blowing full blast in there. You don't need to do that. Just gently. That's just giving a little tickle of breath. And they come out much more easily. Okay. And then it's ready to go into the tray. Again, number six. Not very many in there. So again, a small one. My next one's got more. So we'll see what size we need in the next one. Okay. This is number six. So let's put number six on here. There we go. However you like doing these is part of the fun. Some people will work straight from these bags, and that's fabulous. Because it's got everything on there that you need. I would actually put the label on there so I'd have the symbol picture also. And here we go. Put it on in there. How many of you use the Elizabeth Ward trays? Tell me what you use. Do you go right straight from the bags or do you use the um, Tic Tacs or the Harbor Freight? I used to use Harbor Freight when I first started, but I like these better. It's just a personal preference for everyone. Come on, get out of there. You know you want to be part of the diamond painting. And I, I've always had more than enough drills on their kits. So, no need to worry. Oh, come on. <laughs> you know how this can go. And then close it. Now the next one we have, number seven, 
Okay, this is much bigger, so I'm actually going to go for this one. It's got quite a few. It might fit in one of these, but I'm going to go ahead and put it in this one. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and put it in there before I put the sticker, just in case I think I might get away with using a smaller one. That's part of the fun of kidding up for me. I enjoy doing it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I actually put my mouth right on, you know, right around this to make sure I get it in there. Oh, I almost messed up because it, it is so much easier to do this using these funnels, I guarantee you. Because if that had happened, it just... <laughs> but see, that came out nice and easy. Of course, you're going to have those last ones. going to have to be like little jumping beans. Oh, did you know that jumping beans actually have like a little worm inside it? They're in, um, that's what makes them hop, is because there are little worms, and I, I guess they break loose. I just saw someone, um, cut it open on a TikTok, and I'm like, are you kidding me? I always thought, how does that happen? Okay, I think this is the right size. Ooh, aren't they pretty? They're so shiny. They have the shiniest drills ever. So that's number seven. Which is 310. And that's 310 jumped and sat on the outside of that bag like a naughty boy. Okay. These are squares. Did I tell you this is a, a 59 by 60 kit? I don't remember. <laughs> I was just so into getting all of this done. But I'll just do a couple more and then I will stop because. This is probably going to get boring after a while for you to watch this and uh, listen to me blowing into bags. Yeah, doesn't everybody want to hear that? Here we go. Yay! And it would help to go ahead and get the, the thing put in there. Stops, nobody knows. Okay, get on in there. Okay, put that down in there. Close it up, and that was number eight. So let's put number eight on here. So I have used three different sizes, so that's how it is looking in my tray at this point. We've got different sizes. And that's how I do my kitting up. I have to look and see how big they are before I decide. Now when I run out of these smaller ones, I'll just go up, go up a size. And then I will be using two Elizabeth Ward trays on this kit because it is uh, larger with 76 drills. So two Tray to um, Elizabeth Ward will hold all of that. So I'm excited. So exciting. Okay. Let's get this one in. There we go. And they just slide right on in there. I might have to do a little bit of snappity tap, 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 tap. And it's in there. And there it goes. Okay, this one I want to put in the next size, I do believe. This is number 10. I'll go ahead and put number 10. Well, I'll just wait. I'll wait. It, it could probably go in the smaller one, but I've got a whole bunch of other small ones that I can put in there, so don't want it to get too full. And 
There we go. Yes. Static be gone. And there we go. Now I'm finally getting into my groove. <laughs> I can put number 10 on there. And there we go. I have this row kind of completed. So I'm going to stop there because I'm just going to keep doing the same thing over and over. Okay? I hope this helped you a little bit. Grab you a fun project to do. I'll be working on this. Um, doing some whipping chats pretty soon. You take care, guys. I love you. God bless you. Have fun diamond painting or whatever it is that you love to do. And I will be starting on this beauty very soon. Bye.